be riding on my way Finally woke up with some luck in the buck I don't give a what someone, someone say Finally got my friends in the back on my roller We gon' make it big one day We gon' make it big, I say We gon' make it big, just stay in the Stay in the moment Stay in the moment with me For the night, way too many heartbreaks still on your mind. Let the flame burn down for a while. Let the flame burn out for a while. Stay in the moment. Stay in the moment. So, guys, I've literally driven up for nearly five hours this morning with traffic. Picked Ian up. We've done a couple of busts this morning already, but this is a third and lucky, fingers crossed, location that we're going to get in this one. It's a little time capsule. I believe. Everything's still there? Everything's still in it. If we can get in. If there's not, we don't go in, so you won't see this video. <laughs> so if you are seeing the video, well, we're going to get in. we busted on two, didn't we? Well, yeah. Oh, yeah. Third time lucky. Third, third time one. lucky. So, guys, love you loads, and thank you so, so much to everyone who supports. Please hit that like and subscribe, and come and watch this video. Love you loads. Hello, explorers. Welcome back to a brand new video. So please hit that like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. With your help, I can grow and explore all over the world, bringing you the best videos that I possibly can. So on today's video, we're exploring Bob and Annie's house. Bob and Annie, we believe, had one child that grew up to later on giving Bob and Annie two grandchildren. Also, believe it or not, what we found is Annie grew up in this house as a little girl and later on met Bob when he was in the services. So we believe that Bob was learning engineering while he was in the army. So when he started his own business from home, fixing agricultural equipment, their dream was happy, they married. But not all things were great in the end when Bob lost Annie. He lost himself. So we believe that Bob gave up all hope. Agricultural equipment wasn't getting fixed. Things were getting left. The house was getting messy, we were told. Then Bob was finally found asleep in the front room forever. Guys, I always end up on country roads. So it's like country roads, <laughs> take me home. So this is home for the next maybe two hours. We've got to get through here to see this little beautiful farmhouse. Are you ready, dude? Let's do it. Let's go. Coming off the road, through the bushes, straight to the front of this little house and already, I'm thinking, wow. And you can see that nature's take over the windows. This place has definitely been empty for a long time. In saying around about 2.14, 2.13, so we're gonna get inside. Probably gonna have to go around the back maybe and see if there's a way in. But yeah, what a cool little house. It's a little old couple that lived here. Obviously had one child by the looks of it, maybe two actually. Two, I, so, I two. think it's two children. Yeah, they grew up their life here, but it just makes you wonder why the kids haven't come back maybe. I mean. Maybe they passed before the parents, but it just makes me wonder all the time and ask the same question all the time. Why are they left for so long? Anyway, guys, let's get in. Are you ready? Are we ready? ready? Let's do it. So after escaping the road, not getting caught by the house, just literally opposite this place. Ian's obviously brought me to a place today. Cheers, bro. Shout no worries, mate. Check out his Facebook page. Cool. Yeah, that's lost and found. There you go, guys. Get over there. Anyway, standing at the back of this place, literally, I've just stopped recording as we walk around here because we're going to do it on the way back out as we pass down here. You can see, I've got a feeling this guy was very into like his sports. We've seen some skis uh, and just walking in his little old workshop. You can imagine it, how many logs it was to heat these places as well. I mean, this place is it pretty much in the middle of nowhere. And again, that we've seen skis here. This looks like an old RAC sh uh, RC shell. And you've got an old engine there, another engine there. You can see part of the flywheel there from that engine. It's also like an old racing bike over there. And guys, me being a chippy years ago, I love seeing old lumps of planks of wood. But yeah, I'm gonna be careful because there's like a, a pit under here or something. 
Whoa. <laughs> yeah, so there is an old pit underneath, so I'm not going to walk in. But little things I've sort of worked out about this place, or what I think, is obviously it was a couple because I've seen a lady's name. Um, just in some of the paperwork outside, standing at the back of this little little farmhouse. And what I love about little places like this, and imagine a little couple, they were here to the last days. I can tell it's very old just by looking through the window. Um, very sort of dated, elderly couple. You can imagine them sitting out here, probably before this was fully overgrown out here, sitting out here, just breathing the air, looking at the views. Just chilling. He's just chilling. A little birdhouse he's probably made out of the old lion pole, and he's just put a, made a little makeshift birdhouse. But yeah, let's have a little wander in. It's like through the keyhole. It's an old English program. <laughs> Who lives in a place like this? So yeah, as I come into the kitchen, it's a shame because I could tell straight away as someone's been in here, they've kind of mixed it up a little bit. But look, guys, there's things I'm noticing straight away. Look at the old pictures. Now looking at these, these could be the parents to the child that grew up here. Um, you know, this little girl, it could have been the owner, uh, the daughter that took over the farm maybe and married someone and had the house together. Or it could be these two, but I'd say this is definitely, there's a date, there you go, 1946 in the war. It says on his thing, Army Fire Service. So there you go, it was a fire, in the fire brigade in the army. And that's the thing back then, or even now, you have to have a trade in the army. I love the old pictures. And it, these really old photos as well, a lot back then as well, it was, you had to not smile. And when you... 2014. 2014? Wow, okay. So this has been abandoned since 2014, guys. Improved postage stamps. And do you know what? There's probably some in here. If there's a penny black in here, <laughs> yeah, you know we're that. deleting the video. <laughs> 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 we're deleting the video. <laughs> yeah, I mean, some of these guys. There could be some really rare ones in there. You never know, do you? Yeah. It's cool when you see it. Obviously, our Queen on Canada stamps, and there's another one there for you, know. No, it's not. 17, yeah. 17. Mm. Was that 17? I don't know, that could be anything, couldn't it? Yeah, the old stamps. Belgium. Barbados. Actually, I didn't know our Queen was that. Oh no. Or oh, maybe that is. Yeah, it is. Australia. Austria. It just shows you how much that UK actually wants pretty much ruled. Hey, hey. Oh, look at the old pictures as well. What's this? Oh, Kent. <laughs> wow, yeah. It's like going home. That is like going home, guys. <laughs> That's actually where I live. I live at the end here. <laughs> <laughs> guys, I just noticed as well, you can tell like the old phones as well. Nokia 3310. I don't never know what this phone was, but 10. this kind of phone... 8210. Actually, looks at yeah. This was the phone where if you was angry, you could fry it anywhere and take your anger out and it would still work. Still make your phone call. It's really sticky, that phone. Guys, you know the old projector screen. The way it folds down into a little box as well. You can imagine a family, like, getting out their little home cinema movies or... I mean, he may have been into making his own cine films. I don't know. Snuff <laughs> <laughs> that's where the wife disappeared. Oh, I love the old Argo. I think, I believe these were just filled up with oil, weren't they, and heated. What is that? Old poker. Is that more than one way to top crumble? Right. Look at the old yeah, recipes. Right. That's why I used to definitely keep everything. some mice. Or rats. Yeah, it's definitely stuff in here. Go for that one. Ian, you've invited me around your house, you've not even made me a cup of tea. Shit, shit, I'll put the kettle on, mate. I'm Hurry up. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> the time up there, caught past it. Guys, look at the paint tree. I believe they call it a paint tree. That is what they call it up here. A bottle of golden gin. Don't really like gin. Cockburn. I've never had a bit of Cockburns. That's port. Is it port? Yeah, I believe 
Oh yeah, some port there as well. Late bottled vintage port, 1989. I was six year old then, that bottle was pouring. 1989? 89. So that makes that 20, 30, 3 year old. old no, I'm guessing that's a 1983. And it is. Only because I remember that. I've it's kept one of them for my birthday, yeah. On the back of them. On the years. And I kept one of them for my year of birth, 1983. Old glasses. It's just sad when you see it, it just the makes me think. Glass, she had a cameo brooch. That's a nice little brooch. There's a nice little cameo brooch. It is nice. It could even be like ivory on there or something. But you, um, this is what makes me sad. You know, like they had an animal here, they, they peeled the last tins off, and everything's still in the sink, you know, like. Which makes me think maybe the night before, or he's made his dinner, or she has, or put their coffee cups down and then literally passed away, maybe in this room now we're standing in. The old drying rack. Under the Arga. That's it. Above the Arga, should we say. Yeah. So we're going to have a head through here. The old, the old boiler suit hanging up. So I'm guessing it's a downstairs toilet. So I could do it in mine. Anyone want to check the registration? I think that's, I believe that's a 1962-63, but correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty certain that is the old C. And then through here. It's amazing. Everything's just literally left how they left. Now, which is sad that obviously someone has come in here, found it, and probably gone through a lot of the stuff to see what they can find. But yeah, everything's still here. The head gasket up there. Four cylinder little engine. And that's the thing. Back in the day, you would literally try and fix everything. You know, you wouldn't go down to mechanics or you wouldn't go and buy a new... If something broke, you'd try and fix it yourself. But today, stuff... Certain things today are so cheap, we just literally take for granted and we throw them out. And this here, guys and girls, this is a Mark II Ford Fiesta. Uh, Ian's already been round the back. It's an old E-Reg, which I believe is an 88. Let's be honest, it's in pretty good condition for an old Ford. But, we know Fords, they hide gremlins underneath. So, she could be rotten underneath. But you know what? Look at them wheel arches and that. She looks pretty sound, to be honest. Probably an old asbestos roof. So all these little workshop things, always that little pencil on top of the overalls. Old Dickie's overalls. So I'm guessing he brought in a lot of logs from the outside, put them into here. As I said, you can imagine how cold these places would have been. But yeah, everything's still here. We're finding dates around about 214, 215. I mean, oh, it's disgusting that man, that is just absolutely wrong. So it's run out of 2013. And I'm just saying that, if you can see that on there. Literally rotten. I'm hoping, man, they took the fish out of there before this place got abandoned. <laughs> Look at all the planter in there, it's all died out. TV. So right, uh, the last, what was the last film they were watching? Last DVD. The fridge is already open. I get told off for opening these, but it's already open, and you can tell everything is so decayed in there. Good place to keep your shotgun shells, guys. Right above your fridge. Where's that tea? <laughs> you will laugh here. You've I've had got tea, the tea bags. <laughs> got a teapot. We've got it? running water. Hold on, I doubt it like, what do you reckon? We'll have to drink cold no. no. Oh, no way. Cold tea? Cold tea it is. <laughs> We've got power. I don't know. Where's the fuse box? Start here, have a look. <laughs> imagine if I turn it on as there is. Oh, I imagine it. So leaving the kitchen straight in. I'm going to spin the camera around now. 
Look at this little living room. It just makes me sad to think, you know, the little couple probably spent their last few years here. She's passed away. And I'm going with she first because there's a lot of things I'm seeing as well that makes me think that he was here last. Um, just with the ovals hanging up and... Uh, we found a couple of adult things as well, which we'll show you in a bit, that are literally out on thing, but... And it's here, it's a shame that, you know, someone's pulled it all out. Why? You know, if you're going to go to these places, just check them out. At the British Isles. It's probably a little couple here. No joy? All this been cut off. It. This looks like quite a modern photo here. Well, I say modern, I'd probably say about 90s, maybe. Just the way the colours are a bit washed out on it, but... Look at the old town there. Or is that right here? I don't know where that is. Guys, look at these. This is an old projector. So that would stand up that way, like the old cinema. You'd put the wheel on there, you'd feed a tape through there, and it'd feed past the lens with a bright bulb onto the little screen. And here is an actual old cine cam. Right. So you'd wind it to video while you're filming, which would be this. So what I'm using nowadays would be like that. Smile. Definitely 2013-ish. Is it really? Yeah, the main would have gone off 2013 as well. 20, 2013, 2014. It's got, I'd say 2014. So you've got the old British Isles there, the old family photo, what I just said. And look at this all made out. Oh, this little people. And I'm going to cover this up as well, because it is a town that's not too far. Look how cool that is. Is there still coal in there? There's still some coal at the bottom of that. I always, when I find these as well, I wonder, I'd love to sit there and go through them and play them. Imagine connecting this now, this wheel up on top of that, and playing it through. That'd be well cool. It would be cool. You Just to, walk to walk see, it, yeah. Well, or it'd be shocking. <laughs> it'd be like, That's, does that go there? All that went in there. Did you really? Yep. So this is, all that guy has literally been raked out of this cupboard. Like this oh wow, look at this. The nice little... In common of the, mo of the flag, God save the Queen. How cool is that? Is that a big enough uh, beer jug for you? I know it's not beer jug, but... I'll do, that'll do. <laughs> what can we fill that with? <laughs> <laughs> One hand job, that. <laughs> Commemoration of the hosting of the flag of Pretora. Wow, look at all this. So yeah... You know, it's the old coal bin here. No, it's all one. Oh no, sorry, it's, it's not. Still had a little bit of coal in the bottom. So I mean, we've got tea bags, guys. We've got coal. We can literally stay here. We've just got the fire going, everything. No need to go out, have we? That's it. Yeah, we're sorted. Got quality street. I don't think the box is meant to look like that. Look at the mould on that. Oh, look at the sweets. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Anyone want a sweet, guys? For the first person to like this video, I will send them a quality street. <laughs> <laughs> no one will be liking it, be like, I hate it. What is all this? The Royal Wedding Collection, 1981. Oh, West, uh, Wedgwood. Yeah, it just makes me wonder that chair there. He's probably spent his Many last days. time here, sat there. Probably turned his head now and again to look out the window little TV on, the old CRT TVs. These things weigh an absolute ton. Uh -huh. So look at little stereo. Imagine the last LPs and the music we're playing in here. It's probably a couple of grandkids. Oh wow, look. There's another projector. And there's some film in here as well. No way, so that's probably the last film that this projector played. A little cups. British made, are they? No, no. What is that? Is that an old speaker? Speaker, isn't it? Fitting in the car. Oh, it's that. On my arm. <laughs> That's definitely like, it looks like sort of 70s. Ah, 60s, no? 70s. Yeah. Yeah, it's around that era. Definitely. Oh, born in the 70s. <laughs> right, are you going to take me upstairs or what? <laughs> no, no, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to make my own way out. <laughs> I've seen what you found up there. <laughs> Oh, the old, the old singer. singer. Yeah, guys, we had a little walk around in here just to make sure that... I mean, yeah, there you go. 2012. 
And the old auto trader, well that's truck trader, but got some looks like ivory there. I've just missed complete photos on the wall as well, so we'll come back to that. So I don't want to give away too much here because it's kind of an aerial shot of the house we're in. That's the only wall with some pictures in it. It's a bit random, why there's a knife in the bathroom. This has definitely been empty for a long time. 100%. Literally everything's still here. It's got to be a death because there's no oh no one's took oh, nothing. Yeah. Is it really? Yeah, toys and everything. I'm gonna climb up a sec. So I've gone straight to a spare little room. What is that? It's like an old shower unit. Again, there's like another aerial shot there. Oh, look at that! Little national rally. Oops. Try and put that back up. That was blue tack. You can like now you can imagine how cold it was. So I believe these came in before double glazing, so you'd have like another set of pane of glass put in to kind of keep the heat in this place. And to be fair, I can't see any radiators up here either. These old belts and stuff. Sad, isn't it? It makes you think like sometimes about collecting stuff or keeping hold of all your old stuff. Like, you know, it makes you think, what's the point? No one, in, if you've got no one to give it to or leave it to, it kind of ends up like this. It's just straight into the master bedroom. The heater there, little old tennis racket. Oh, wow, I love all these. Oh, wow, look at all these. I think where they okay, so these are all like Spain, so a lot obviously holiday snaps. But this is how easy it is today. We take a lot for granted, we pick our phone up, we can snap a shot. But back years ago, this is what this is what you'd be doing. You know, you take take your photos and you'd sit there and look them back. Holland. brush it's got like an ivory layer on it as well a little bedroom clock there stopped 20 past two oh. I'm gonna take a city here so I can imagine her sitting in her so her name's Annie because I've just seen it down there <laughs> um, so she would be sat here we doing her hair and a little makeup sitting at a little desk Probably little cotton buds and stuff in there, little face uh, glasses. Oh, look at that. It's an actual ivory elephant. And here she's done a lot for um, the partner, sorry, as well. Massive, massive into his canoeing. Seen a lot of stuff with canoeing stuff around here. Little baby. Look at all the old pictures. That's twice I've seen the cat as well. Same sort of cat. It's like a black and white cat, a bit of family pet, absolutely beautiful. I'm going to turn it round to the bed. <laughs> Talk about push all your dirty old clothes under the bed. If no one sees them, they're out of the way. Yeah, that North Coast shirts. I've got some old LPs here as well. Now we've seen the old LP downstairs. Has that amazing grace in... Um, bad pipes. The King's Singers Belly Believe in Music, sorry. That is so cool. Wow. So many beautiful things around the old photos. I mean, these are like 1930s, got to be 1920s. Could be earlier than that. Hello. Yeah, These are old postcards. Look at these. This is when family pictures should be saved. 
I think this is what uh, 1940. This is what they used to do years ago. I think you'd have photos printed on a postcard so you could then obviously post them. Yeah, look. No way, guys. That is literally the back. This place dates a long way back with his family by the looks of it. It's obviously been modernised over the years, the house, but... And this is like a second generation. It's the back door we walk through. This must be... Or the third generation. That must be along the wedding day. Oh, look. No, 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 no. I can't grow my hair like that now, do I? I can't grow any anymore. I'm getting too old. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm, getting, I'm losing it as well. Oh, you don't Wait. want to know what I found up there. Have you seen Karen? <laughs> oh, Karen! Plenty of Karens about! <laughs> right, you can see what, um... You can it's found! No way. Oh, I suppose VHS is with deer. Look at Karen. It's been watched as well. <laughs> you think our old Karen is now, though. <laughs> um, can I just say... Oh, let's send like, a photo there, guys. Right I next to the bed. I don't think you should show this on the video. And loads of old photos again guys so many stuff so much stuff here you think family trips and now it makes you wonder what what, were, what was all the pictures about why I take them all you know there's no one here now why any family or there's got to be was that already was that open that pin lid it just shut on me that was quite freaky um there's another lock knife upstairs there's a few later well, I'm going to keep it on me a minute and see if I've got teeth inside. What is that? What do you think it is? Oh, no. <laughs> right, look away, guys, if you're easy offended or whatever. That. <laughs> that. <laughs> okay. How do we put out? What do you I'm say? not touching it. What is that? We even had a motor to it. Oh, he's put a motor on it. So, guys, he's kind of made his own. Uh... Oh, no, that's not on. That's a bought one. Oh, is it a bought one? That's He's definitely fixed it at one point. Tim will come He's worn that one out. His little pocket rocket's worn out. <laughs> you see the mice and having out there. Just give me another. Oh no. Oh, there's the other one. What is that? It's even got all the attachment pump and a moat on the side of it. So whoever doesn't know what that is, uh, I don't really know what, <laughs> headlock, what the hell? The controller that's been strapped to this machine is like it says headlock and trimmer. What, did you put it in there for a shave? <laughs> Mate, there's a, hair, there's a hair stuck to it. No, There's a, few, there's a few hairs, look, blonde and... <laughs> <laughs> Right, we're going to get a demonstration right show. It works here. <laughs> no, I'll give it a miss. I'll give it a miss. It's a good night storybook. I mean, it's up to people what they do, and I'm sure everyone gets up to saying it in their room. But So, this could have been the daughter's book, then it says Christine in it, or. The book that's the idea. Oh, that's the old original box, and look, the high chair, guys. Everything's still. I can't believe this house is literally still everything here. Everything's still here. My first picture dictionary. So old and all. And what's sad? What's so uh, sad though? Mate, I would not trust plugging a 2240 volt in that and then putting your uh, Blood in. finger in it, guys. <laughs> no, it's not really a finger massager. I'll let you work it out. There's all trophies down here. And the bunk beds. Yeah, I've just found bunk beds. So obviously, look, with the grandkids stayed as well. Oh yeah, he even says the boys' room. Or did they mean the old boys' room? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, do you? <laughs> oh, guys, please never ever take any offence of what I say. Like, I never mean no harm. No, we all don't. But when you find stuff like this sometimes in places, you can't help having a laugh. Um, but all I can say, it's definitely been well used. It's a loved, it's a loved item. But it looks like it's made it out of an old foot pump and some science test tube thing, I don't know, and then a motor off a beer trim. Like, oh, maybe that is a, an old shaver. I'll tell you why then, because on the side there it says head trimmer, doesn't it? And sha uh, tr headlock trimmer. So he's put his shaver oh. on the side of it. That's why there's hair on the end, so he's having his... 
the boys' room. Oh, Look what it says. Do you think that's a pubic shaver? <laughs> it's the old boys' room. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. I'm not even looking no more. I've had nothing there. Some stuff up there. Look at all these. Little soft. I'll get over there. Oh, that's nice. Do you want a vanilla ice cream? Oh, it's proper floored out. Yeah, bolded everything. Oh, guys, look at that. That is an old Panasonic phone. I'm guessing that was your old mobile phone. And they were for it. <laughs> I love them old phones. No, oh, if... there's another pump down there. Oh my days. <laughs> I'm getting it. I think these are one kinky family. Well, well, this is what I've got to tell you. Wait till you look in this. Do you think this is the overnight bag? Look at the levers. No way. Look, look, look. boobs and all that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. How do the old scale electric do? Oh, oh. You ready for this? What is it? This is a telescope. Oh, that's like the old um, naval ones, isn't yeah. it? Well, it, they pretty much was for naval, wouldn't they? But look at that proper brass as well. Oh, it's, it's all brass. That's so cool, man. Little stuff. Tell me, Jane. Oh, you must remember that. Did you ever play Mastermind? Mastermind. There's an old Monopoly down there, and all sorts. More kids' toys. Mad, isn't it? How we can just you basically In, inside that back. bag scuba diving kit. Is it really? Yeah. Yeah. So he was definitely into his water sports. <laughs> what type of water sports? <laughs> I don't know. That looks like an old. Um, what the hell's this? Look, you know the old like sort of serviceman yeah, rat satchel. Army. What the hell's that? Is that like record somebody? Oh yeah, that's probably like your little dictaphone oh, thing. Di yeah, that's it, dictaphone. What's that, the Boy Scout troops? First aid, the Boy Scouts. I never it's a lot of like rocks and sort of fossils up here as well. So was... I've seen fossils downstairs as well. Definitely sort of really outdoor type of person. Little puzzles and games. That's actually a body massage, but after what I've seen downstairs, I don't really want right. really to touch. Just found like, a little old Snoopy watch. The old recorder. I used to do recorder lessons when I was younger, but then I got bored of it. Which I wish I actually I wish now that I actually knew how to play an instrument, I love an instrument. <laughs> right, we'll get out of this loft. I know, it's a stiff smuggy, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. heading back downstairs. I'm kind of scarred for life a little bit with the contraptions up there. It's like something, uh, I don't know. I'm just going to spin it around and stop really quick there. Look at that little kiddie's chair. Absolutely lovely. I would love to have this for my daughter. I love it. I've got a thing about little chairs. Look that little paintings. Stuff I missed going up the stairs. This is lovely as well. Look, looks like all the grandchildren. Hopefully, if someone sees this video and realises their family home, please come and do something about it. Lock it up, do what you got to do. But it's just such a shame, and it's so wide open. It's just standing here as well. The father, Harry, and Harriet, the wife, 1849 to 1850. The family register. It's absolutely crazy. This document's still sitting there. It should be preserved. It shouldn't be left there. But yeah, what a cool little place. And just all you can smell now is damp mould. Imagine a few years ago, or yeah, five, six years ago, seven years, maybe ten years ago, the smell that would have been coming off here, the home cooked food, sitting here, the kettle boiling, just noises of life in this house, but now it's just complete ghost. There's nothing here. Into the grounds. Beautiful double garage, wonder what's behind there. You can see like agricultural bits of farming equipment, but God, look at the view. Who would want to live right there with views like that? I would literally love it. Wow. 
the old discovery. I can tell with the bonnets up. Pete was probably had a load of bits off it. Size that, that Jack. That is a trolley jack. No way. Guys, this... <laughs> I can't get over the size of that jack. I've never ever in my life seen a trolley jack that big. It's a little manual one as well. Oh, look, there you go. I said the name, Annie. So obviously we've come outside the house walking down here and loving Annie. So this is a lady I said inside. It just proves that she passed away literally after him. And yeah, he's completely here on his own. Maybe that's hence why we had to get the, uh, he had to make homemade stuff. There's a tool sitting out here, work drills. Sorry? This is your world, isn't it? The ox are settling and all that. This is all my world, isn't it? Fucking hell. Go on, yeah. Come on, mate, what a workshop. You've got some gear in here. Oxygen. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a that's probably sandblaster, isn't it? Putting your hands in. Yeah. Or a cleaning thing. So much stuff here, I can't believe it. This place is literally filled with stuff. And you know what I love, guys, about old workshops? You can really smell that oil in here. That really hits you. There's stuff just everywhere. Welding mask, vices. Cool, look at that. Look at this. This is a oh, look at the size of that. There's a little engine next to you there. I can't get over it. Look at it all there. The old pillar drills. When was the last time this little thing was fired up? You can see the old belt driven up the top. You can imagine Annie coming in. Wait, Frank, it's dinner's done. <laughs> Five more minutes. Oh, oh, look at this. I believe they're all the old gas lamps. You know, imagine how clean up as well, all the brass lamps. Oh, wow. There's so much stuff here. Look, it's a milling machine. Yeah, a table saw. And do you know what? Size, before I say that, the size of the old oil filter, probably off the tractor. What I'm saying, I bet you could come in here and you could say to him, have you got this? And he'll know exactly where it was. I can't, that is absolutely beautiful. Mate, there's a lot of stuff in this place. The size of that broom. Oh no, it's not a broom. So what I could do is sometimes in the winter, mate, the old diesel heater. Yeah, blow out proper. So guys, just did a little check on this Ranger, uh, Land Rover. HH28 POF. It was last on the road in 2012. So this is what we're getting on this place. Is A lot of it's 213. We think the last people were here. It's absolutely crazy. That all this stuff's been left for so long. Probably for the Arger, actually. Oh wow, there's another discovery there as well. Look at that guys. Really old tractor. I've lost count of how many tractors I've seen on the Explorers. <laughs> You're not wrong. That is proper old. I'd say that's 60s, maybe 50s with that number plate. I can't read them ones, 958 Jup, or Jup. Look at all the green inside it. Been here a while, this one. Wow. That's this is, this looks in better nick than the other one. It's a J-Reg. 92. It's crazy though. So there you go, this one, 2011, it was last taxed. In the UK, you have to tax a vehicle to drive on the UK roads. It's basically, yeah, it is a road tax, there you go. But yeah, 
What an amazing little location. Absolutely yeah, looking into a little bit more of this place. So he was an agricultural uh, basic what repairing. Yeah. So yeah, we was just saying these probably some of these uh, agricultural machinery was to be repaired and never ever finally got repaired. And it's just sad really, you think someone's life. We're working out that it could be like two generations that lived here and now it's just what's happening to it? Who knows? It's gonna fall into despair. No. So guys and girls, hopefully you loved that little house. I haven't been out exploring in a long while, so please bear with me. If it's not as good as normal, like my filming, I don't know. But I'll watch it back and hopefully you'll enjoy it. Please like and subscribe, guys. Check out Ian on Facebook. Check it out. Urbex lost and found. There you go, guys. Check him out. Give all the love support. Thank you so much to everyone who does watch my videos. And please, honestly, always leave a like and subscribe. There is a Patreon. Don't expect you to do it. I don't expect anyone. There's channel membership. All the money does go back to exploring. Um, yeah. Love you loads, stay safe and uh, I'll see you soon. Just a little message guys and girls. Spend every minute of the day with the people you love. No one knows how long we got left. Love every one of you and thank you so, so much for watching my videos.